Okay. So today, okay, so today I'm doing, um, I'm playing with little, little bird masks that I cut out, as you can see, and my gel plate, and I'm going to use some of the pastels, and then I'm going to use some of the regular colors. <clears throat> what I want is I'm going to put down the color and put the birds over it, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. I might do it two different ways, but we'll see. And I'm going to use my um, mixed media paper for this. Let me pull some out. And I don't know, I just felt like doing some before spring is over, because summer's going to come quickly. I just felt like doing a couple things for spring. Not really determined to do anything particular. But I just thought I might like, I hear the birds outside all the time, and I thought I might like doing something. Also cut out some branches, which I may or may not use. I don't know. We'll see. But let's put a color down and see what we got. Let's combine some colors. Oh, I didn't mean to put that much down. And I may use some other kind of paper with it, too, but I'm actually thinking of just trying the first one with just black. I cleaned up my workspace today. As you can see, there's all this stuff from the last time. I didn't get much done the last time, though. I was very distracted. on here. You know he goes off the edge, but just make it look like a whole community of birds. see what happens with that. I'm actually just going to pull that up. Um, I'm actually going to pull it up with a black sheet of paper just to see how these... I probably should have made stencils instead of masks, but uh, we'll see how it works. Let's just see how they look on black paper first. See if they are good cuts. Now this black paper tends to stick Sometimes. So I'm pulling it very slowly. Actually, except for that top bird disappearing into the tree, I kind of like it. I need to spread them out more, though. Can you see that? But I actually like that on black paper. All right, let's. the paper one, so this is going to be hard. I actually cut them out uh, together on paper and um, a black cardstock. Like these trees are the black cardstock. But the birds are also on both. So some of them are paper stencils, which would be harder to work with. Because they are very delicate. And hard to pull up. I'm just afraid of ripping their little legs. Well, let's try it by putting down a background. See, I ripped off a whole part of that branch. Let's do it by putting down a background and then putting them down. Yeah, see their legs, even these, these are cardstock, and the legs are a little bit delicate. But I, I really wish I had a made stencils now. Instead of masks. I cut to the, all the way to the edge when I cut them, so. Alright, let's do a background page. 
do a combination of pink and blue. And you may have to, I may have to voice over this after a while because if I don't turn that heat on, uh, that air on soon, I'm going to, there's a hair on my roll. Okay, I'm going to grab some and move it. So I have this weird pink and blue thing going here. Let's use a piece of this paper. This is mixed media paper. Or off white. We're just pulling up the background here. Now, as you can see, it's kind of a strange background, but I like it. Um, now we're going to lay down our birds. Let's use the... Just use this branch here. I don't want them to overlap the birds again. Okay. Now let's do something dark over the top. Darker. Let's go for the indigo. You have to move that in. Let's see how this looks. I hope I can center it right. Yeah, that's what I want. A little bit darker. Now, let's see. Alright, let's give it a good push. Keep having a look up, make sure the camera's working. Had the battery go dead on a taping session the other day that I just ended up throwing out because oh, I'm stick to the paper, please. Ah, there are places it's sticking. I don't think it's a tragedy. Not a total tragedy, anyways. Now, see, there are places that it pulled up the paper, but I can go over that with um, pastels or something. See, right there is... But I kind of like the way that looks. I like that. I may need to let these stencils dry before I use them again. because they're sticking to the paper. But let's try just going over them once. See if we can get some paint over the top of them and pull it up with a, a sheet of deli paper. Or even better, a wrinkled tissue paper, which I have right there. So wet these real good. 
The more paint you get on, the less likely they will be to stick the next time. That's why I'm just coating this good. Let's get this sheet of lovely wrinkled tissue paper. I'm pulling it, not getting all the wrinkles out. Getting some of the wrinkles out just to leave a slight effect. Bring it up real quickly. Oh, that's lovely. I could use that on a journal sheet. Can you see how nice that is? It's just this subtle background that you can use when you use make your collage. Alright, let's pull them up. Gently. Even though these are a thick paper, I'm trying not to mess the image up because I'm going to roll over it and pull it up again. any of the paint off with my fingernails or anything. Now we're going to let those dry thoroughly before I use them again. Alright, we'll put that up there. Um, let's use this. This pink. I'm not going to say it. I always say it. I don't usually use pink, and then I use pink. But this is kind of a muted pink. It's not like a Barbie pink. So I like it. Let's see what, if anything, happens with this. And then I'm probably done until those dry out some more. I can't really use them until they're dried out and coated with paint. That's why I say the stamps, the stencils, all of them don't don't work as well in the beginning as they eventually end up working. Once I think they're coated in paint and they're, they have a much better character to them. Alright, let's see. And I'm not letting it dry 100% because I'm really not that concerned. Oh, I like that. And I will be going over these with the uh, pencils and stuff. Let's zoom down so I can see if I can get a good view of these for you. I love the way it came out in through here. This is a bit of a mess up in that corner, but... But you can see how using the tissue left a mark that the next printing picked up. And there's this one which is much clearer, and I can fix that. That's not going to be hard to fix. Matter of fact, it'll probably be, the thumbnail will probably be this fixed. And there's this one. Well, let's put it on white so you can see it better. Can you see how that came out? It's just got a lovely image to it that you can use the whole thing as a background for uh, a collage, and it would be gorgeous. And then there's this one, which has lots of potential. I might do some more of these, but I had the bird too close to the leaf, so it kind of melded there, and this bird was too close to that leaf. So you can see right here how nice it would have come out if I had them line them up right. So I'll do it again with black, but I'll take my time. And can you see how that... Take my time. And these are just uh, stencils, well, actually masks that I cut out from pictures that I had from years ago. And I really do like this. Thank you very much for viewing my video. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Put a like if you like it. That really helps me. Um, and 
hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when more videos come out. And thank you very much for viewing my video. You have a lovely, lovely day.